What's going on guys and welcome to my displacement map slash um, track map tutorial. As you can see, I, all I did was just make the uh, text wiggle and I added some textures to the text in the background there. Um, it's not too difficult, um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I get it done. Um, let's hop in on your composition. As you can see, there's really nothing going on. So first I'm just going to go ahead and scale the text a little bit. Um, oops, it's not doing anything too special just give it some life that's all okay and then let's tap uh, F9 I'm gonna easy ease them all and then let's take a look real quick okay that should be fine for the sake of the tutorial um, let's make sure the scales are the same on each end just for a second see that's 824 and let's just type that in 824. Okay. Um, next, let's go ahead and add the texture onto the text and the background. Um, I already got my footage in here, my source in here. Let's do the paper first. Um, so, as you can see, I got the, let's scale it down. I got the the texture back behind the logo so that when I um, go down to the, this mode right here, the track map mode, which if you don't if you don't see this, you need to click this little button right here to switch to the track map mode. And then, oh, it's right here. And then you click this drop down arrow and then alpha mat. And now you can see that the paper texture is on the logo or on the text. But watch, when you play it, the paper doesn't move with the text. So you need to just parent it easy enough um, so they're not moves with the text next is the background um, I got this little dot texture I, don't know, I just got it out of nowhere same thing um, track mat alpha mat or wait I do it backwards maybe it's luma mat yeah it's luma mat excuse me um, and then I think I parented I think I parented these both to the text moving yeah, I think that's what I did. Um, next thing let's do, let's go ahead and add this sort of 3D effect to the the text. Um, just duplicate it and then bring it underneath the um, underneath the original and the paper texture. And then I'm going to bring it back into view and change the color to let's just do like a gray. And then the position to the side and down some. That's really all you got to do. Um, okay, so basically have the motion and the look we want, but now we just need the um, that little extra flare, which is the displacement map. So what we have to do is actually, um, you know, we're gonna bring in a new solid. Shift Control Y. And it doesn't matter which color or what you name it, just bring in a new solid and then on a new solid, let's make a new composition. So control shift C and I don't know, let's name it just wiggle source. Um, okay, so let's go into that. Well, let's turn off the visual because we're not gonna need the visuals at all. But um, let's go into that composition and add fractal noise, which I already searched for it. Fractal noise and then you're gonna kind of want to bring the contrast up to eh, 250, 300. Just it doesn't really matter. And then the brightness down some. Um, I got mine on negative 15. And then hit this uh, drop down arrow that says Evolution Options, and Alt click Random Seed. And then now down here in this expression, we're gonna hit Time um, Times, and let's do 10. Okay, so now it's um it's generating random fractal noise every I don't know what the ten is like ten times a second or something like that I don't know, but um that's all you really need to do for that. So let's go back to our composition, and now we need to add displacement maps to what we want to wiggle. So now we go to it is yes the text layer and then add distort. 
displacement map. And then, let's see. We need to add, oh, did I change the um, source of the displacement map to the wiggle source? So now you see it's starting to wiggle, but okay, that looks really bad. So let's change the, the amount of displacement to like two on both the horizontal and vertical. So now it just does like a little, a little simple animation. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this and add it onto, excuse me, add it onto the um, the gray um, text as well. Um, that's pretty much it. I added a blur onto that just for the sake of the videos. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And adjustment layer, control alt Y. And then I think I used the obsolete fast blur that I love so much. Um, yeah, I just blurred it in and out. Okay guys, so I forgot to mention that I did add a shadow behind the text here. I'm gonna show you guys how I did that real quick. Um, go ahead and go to the uh, gray text and hit Control D to duplicate it. And then I added Gaussian Blur. Let's go ahead and search for that. Okay. okay. Um, and then I brought the brightness up to like 65 and then just change the position. Oh, well, I gotta change the color of it as well to black and then opacity down. And that's, that's all there is to it. You guys go ahead and give me suggestions down below because I'm gonna run out of ideas eventually. Um, but I'm, I am gonna get into more 3D stuff. So yeah, just, just leave a like down below and give me some suggestions if you have any. Um, and I'll see you guys next week.